I think the information and the communications that we now have that are available for men have advanced hugely in the last 20 years that I've been working on prostate cancer. You don't get to, to the age of 50 in Australia now and not know a lot of men who've been through prostate cancer. I've sat with some of them through those consultations and, and realised how difficult a path it is to navigate. And so that's a very strong motivation to try and, try and make things easier and make things better. One in five men uh, are likely to be diagnosed with prostate cancer as, as they age. Um, so it's very common, um, but a lot of men um, have trouble coping with the side effects of treatment and with the prostate cancer itself. So my involvement with prostate cancer dates back to 1999 uh, when we assembled a bunch of experts at Cancer Council. We formed a plan uh, and the aim was to better understand the treatments that were available for prostate cancer and how men's quality of life was affected. And that study's been immensely successful and, uh, and very informative and has helped change um, practice and policy both in Australia and, uh, and internationally so that we can um, look more in terms of how men live their lives after a diagnosis of prostate cancer to uh, the best possible quality outcomes. It's difficult to underestimate the role of supportive care so part of the, the early stage of the prostate cancer care and outcome study was really to, to understand uh, where the supportive care needs were. They needed support with better information and communication about the treatment options and they needed support about the long-term issues that they're likely to confront, particularly the, the psychological issues. A lot of men do suffer from the common side effects after a diagnosis of prostate cancer, including impotence, incontinence and to a lesser extent bowel problems. And we know those have, uh, have major, major effects both in terms of functionality but in the way men feel. And our supportive care groups that we work with, tell them about the work that we're doing uh, and increase the network so that we can really touch as many men as we can. The Cancer Council's support of the Prostate Cancer Care and Outcomes Study over the length of time, over these 15 to 20 years now we're looking at, has been, has been incredible. One of the things that we do now know is that about 96% of men with early stage prostate cancer will live to at least five years and 90% and will live to, to 10 years. So the ability of our work to be able to delve into understanding the, uh, the long-term effects has been really important. I think we've made a number of remarkable achievements, but there's still a huge amount to go. So we'd like to see that no man goes through prostate cancer alone. Cancer Council is extremely important to be able to make this stuff happen.